In this presentation we are going to look at complete cases, that is to say rows that have values for each variable. So consider the air quality data set and here for the sake of brevity I've just looked at the first seven rows, rows one to seven. We can see that we have five variables here but for some of the variables uh, there is a missing value, an NA value. For example, here at the fifth row, the fifth case, we have two NAs, so we have two missing values there. And likewise, the sixth row, we have a missing value here. So these cases are not complete cases. Rows one to four, yeah, we have values there for each of the variables. Row seven, also we have values there for each of the variables. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the complete cases um, command and this tells us which uh, cases are complete cases. So again this is just for the first seven rows of air quality just for the sake of brevity. So again we can sort of see that the first four cases true 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 and true these are complete cases. Uh, 5 and 6, false and false, and then true. So the rest of the data set just more, looks more or less like that. So um, it's a logical uh, vector, essentially, and it can be used to subset the data set. That is actually uh, something we, what we might look at now, is how we would subset a data set just, just to consider complete cases only. Now, an approach I'm going to take here is I'm going to subset and set up a new data set called aq.comp, complete data, airquality.comp. And what we're going to do is subset it according to this logical vector here. Uh, so w any rows that are complete cases, essentially, will be uh, kept for the, uh, uh, brought into aq.comp, aq.comp. So let's have a look at that. Now it's going to have they are just going to look at the head of aq.comp AQ and what we can see here is that we have rows 1 to 4 uh, 5 and 6 of the original data set did not have complete cases so that they did not get selected for this subset 7 and 8 are the next two uh, cases selected and so on we can actually look at the tail as well And there we have it there. 147, 148, 149. We can sort of see that uh, case 150 did not get selected. Now, so that's how we might uh, set up a subset of uh, a data set just to account for complete cases. Now, suppose we want to find out how many complete cases there are. So we have to use a little trick here. It's a nice little trick. So, uh, what we could do is use the as numeric function to turn the logical states true and false into numbers 0 and 1 and then what we could do is simply sum up the values. So what I'm going to do here is first off look at complete cases. Let's clear that. And that brings up a, a set of true and false values. The next thing we can do Let's bring that back up here a second so you can get a good look at it there. The next we can do is actually set that as a numeric, those new values as numeric values. And the command there is as numeric. So here we have, instead of trues and, trues and falses, we have zeros and ones. And what we could do there is simply sum up all of those values. So sum and I'm going to copy and paste that last command in and we would have 111 cases so the, of that air quality data set 111 cases were complete cases and that ends our presentation